Jake Tim Wells here from Ram File Glassing. Today we're going to go through the install process of our seat pod. Uh, this one here is our large seat pod. This install process works for both the large seat pod, our seat box, and also our super pod. Now these installs are being done uh, in the factory as we're doing other work on this uh, cruise craft as well. Uh, so this pod here is yet to have the lid installed, which would be pre-installed if you ordered online, um, and also have the tackle unit installed on the side. Um, so this is purely just for example of how easy it is to install our seat pod units. Now when you receive your seat pod, uh, it will come fully assembled uh, with a few different parts. So this obviously is the main body, uh, gel coat surface, and then underneath the seat pod is what assists in the installation process. And if I remove this out of the way, you will see this is our insulation pan. Uh, this is what we use to install the seat uh, pod to the floor. Um, this gets secured to the floor first, then the seat pod installed over the top. So what I'm going to go through now is the process of installing this to the floor and then the seat pod over the top. What you'll get in your kit uh, and how simple it is to do. Okay, so when you get your install kit, uh, you'll receive some uh, countersunk screws here, which will be used to drive the install pan down into the floor. And also installed into the sides of your pods, you'll see also some hex drive uh, screws, which use a 3 8 um, hex head, or you can use a 3 8 spanner to, to put them back in. Uh, to complete the job, you're also going to need a tape measure, just to make sure that you're nice and square. Uh, we use KD Bond here. Uh, you can use sticker flex as well. That's just to, to stick it down. Uh, if you need a cheaper sticker flex to complete the job, we sell it on our website so you can purchase that when you purchase the pod. Uh, 3 8 spanner, like I said. Uh, drill to drill down into your floor. Uh, we've got an impact gun here which also uh, uses for a hex drive and we can use it to also screw in the, uh, the countersunk screws as well. Um, that's all you need to get the job done. Okay, so now we're going to put the sticker flex on the floor as shown here. Just linking between your holes, like so. Right, so that's the sticker flex and the KD bond down. It's back over the top. And now we drive our screws into the floor. up like that and then you do that for the other five and then we'll move on to the next step which is installing the pot over the top. Okay so now I've gone ahead now and screwed down the, the base so we've got our six screws through here. Um, the next step now is to get our KD Bond or our Sika Flex, whatever you'd like to use uh, and go back over the top so what we'll do is just a couple of big dobs over the top where our screws are. Got another one down there. Just run it along the edge as well. Okay, that's enough like that. And then, without making too much of a mess, we grab the pod. top just like that now to finish the installation process off we grab our, our hex drive screws uh, these are all stainless steel of course uh, I'll use the 3 8 uh, impactor and uh, we'll be able to secure the pod now back through the sides now all these holes are all pre-drilled for you 
when you get your pod and then just better doing that. You do that again on the other three on the other side. If it's too tight on the other side, uh, you would use your 3 8 uh, spanner, obviously, and you can tighten them up that way. Um, and that's basically the installation of the pod. Uh, you'd now go around and just finish it off with a clear or a coloured uh, silicon, just along the base here, just to make sure no water gets underneath. Uh, and then you'll have no problems. And that's the installation of both our large seat pod our seat box and our super pod all use the same method. And uh, if you've got any inquiries, send them through our website and uh, we can help you with it. Any installation issues that you might have. And